Dear Joanne, so after reading your blog post, you have given me loads of topics that I want to, as well as answer your questions, sort of elaborate in my own opinion and what I think about it and what I have to say. So let's get going. The first thing I want to discuss is the Calvin Klein's picture that you so gladly pointed out to me on a Skype conversation where I had to drop my phone on the floor and leave it there because I was that annoyed and I was scared I was going to break it, thanks to the thing that I had been sent, which is this. Calvin Klein's first plus size model. Let's take a look at this first plus size model. She is probably a size 8 or a size 10 at the most. I'd also like to point out, I am a size 8 or a size 10, depending on the shop that I go to when I shop. I didn't realise that I was now known as a plus size person. It's great to know that people like Calvin Klein are letting me know that apparently I am overweight. So thank you, Calvin Klein. This is exactly what I needed. Okay, so let's stop the sarcasm and stop all me being completely ironic and basically being a bitch. This angered me so much because I have a lot of insecurities myself, as a, obviously as a, a woman, growing into a 21-year-old 20 20 and trying to get comfortable with my body. How am I supposed to be comfortable with my body when posts like that saying that a Calvin Klein plus model, plus size model, is a size 8 to 10? That is not right. We should not be getting that into teenagers' heads. And that's what bothers me the most about posts like that, is that people are growing up, and I'm not just trying to aim this at girls, boys and girls are growing up, starting high school, believing that if you are bigger than a size 8, you are classed as a plus-sized person. Now, this may just be in the model world, but it hasn't quite specified that it's okay to be that size if you're not a model. I remember, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, when Kendall Jenner, I think it was the Victoria's Secret model catwalk fashion show thing. I don't watch it because it depresses me and it makes me not want to eat. Well, not literally, but we'll get into that. And they all bullied her because she was a UK size 8. And they said she was too fat to be a model. What? <laughs> How are you too fat? She is as skinny as anything. If you see her pictures, you will see she's not fat. But also, saying that, it's not fat. 90% of the time, people are just curvy. What is going on with this generation? Why are we being led to believe that a size 8 model is now classed as a plus size model for a brand? It's not right and it is completely wrong. It is draining into people's heads, not draining, it is drilling into teenagers' heads that they need to lose weight to be skinnier than that girl in this picture. I don't want my children, when I ever have them, to believe that being bigger size than a size 8, size 10, is going to make them class as a plus size human because they are beautiful and everybody else is beautiful no matter what your clothing size is. And another thing, I really hate shopping and one of the reasons I hate shopping is because in different clothing shops you are a different size. People do not understand this and it is such a self-confidence it's not even like, it's not a boost, it lowers your self-confidence. I'm really good with words today, you can tell I filmed this on a good day. It's been a busy day. I can go to places like New Look and be a size 8, like I bought size 8 jeans, right? The woman looked at me when I said I wanted a size 10, and she looked at me and said, you're a size 8, love, you need to be a size 8, you are buying clothes that are too big for you. But say if I went to Primark, I might be a size 10 because the clothes are different and they're made differently. This is what things need to be said. So let's move on from that. That, video, that picture that Joanne sent me, 
really angered me and it still angers me that it's still on my phone because she's beautiful and she's not skinny because that's not skinny thin people don't like to be called skinny like I have a friend at work that someone said oh you're so skinny though she doesn't like it and that's fine you, if you don't want to be called skinny no one will call you skinny you get what I mean she, this girl in the picture that's a plus size model, that's a size 8 for freaking hell's sake, is perfect. Not perfect as in like, she's the perfect girl. She's perfect just how she is. It doesn't matter what her clothing size is. It just really bothers me and that picture really got to me. Another thing I wanted to discuss was... Magazines. I bought two on purpose. I have not bought a gossip magazine until I got a very good insight on how crap the industry is entertainment wise. I read through this and got really annoyed and actually snapchatted Joanne myself with little anecdotes of what I really thought of the stories and how fake half of them were. The one that I'm going to relate to is the one here which is about Cheryl Cole. If you don't know who she is, she is currently dating Liam Payne, who's from One Direction. Cheryl is known for being a very skinny woman. As in, people got so worried that she might get too thin that something may seriously happen to her. Which, I, even I was worried, and I don't even like her that much. But... Now she's getting a bit of bone on, a bit of skin on her bones. She has a tiny little bump on her, right? And everyone's saying she's pregnant. She just might have put on some weight. If she's in a supposed relationship with Liam from One Direction, apparently when you first get into a relationship, you tend to put on loads of weight because you're just sort of happy in the moment and you're always going on dates and eating food and going to cinemas and eating too much popcorn. And then there's a picture here where she's holding her bump. Bump. I mean, this probably is a publicity stunt and we'll probably move on to that on a different video. But then it made front page, I mean, not really front page on this one because Firma can make this one. If you don't know who she is, she's a reality star in the UK. But it made it on the front page in a corner. But on Closer, that was Heat Magazine by the way, it made it on the big page. And it says, Liam will be the perfect dad. Nobody has confirmed if she is pregnant or not. Okay? No one's confirmed it. But they are writing articles about these alleged sources saying all this stuff. Just because she's put on a bit of weight, now she's pregnant. But in these, especially these two kind of, what people will call trashy magazines... It's where, usually, on the front page, blasted right there. Oh, she was eight, eight pounds and now she's 14 stone. No, she was eight stone and now she's 14 stone. I don't care. Why is this making tabloids? I don't care about a big story about a celebrity that was once this thin, that's now got a bit of curve. I don't care. You... The media is making it sound like, if you don't look like this, you are irrelevant. You are fat. And that is not okay with me. I did not like growing up thinking that these girls were what everybody wanted. And the girls that were a bit curvy, like I am, it's not okay. I don't want that in my life, okay? It annoys me. And I'm not just saying it's women, okay? Because it's not just women that they actually get at. Here's a picture of Misha Barton, an actress, I think. It called Belly Flop is the title of it. This is the National Enquirer, if anybody wants to look at this. This is the picture. Is it just me that think there's absolutely nothing wrong with that picture? That she looks absolutely amazing in her bikini and whatever it is. And it says, Misha Barton's bizarre beach outfit and bulging midriff has us holding onto our hat too. She's not that big. She looks curvy to me. 
And it really bothers me that this has actually made the magazine. And I know I was going on to how men are also singled out, but I actually cannot find it. So if you just bear with. Oh, here we go. It's actually the first ones. Um, a guy from Ghostbusters got put on because he's put on a bit of weight. I don't care. Why is this making the tabloids? Why are we reading this? Why are we clicking on links on the internet to scandalise a celebrity that probably was really, really comfortable with her body until somebody decides to take a picture and say, oh my God, she's put on loads of weight. Oh my God, what's happening? Well done. Confidence boost gone from here down to here. Another thing I wanted to discuss was the big viral thing that happened that was, are you beach body ready? That campaign was a shambles before it even got hit print. Why are you asking somebody if they are beach body ready? If they are comfortable with their body and don't mind if they aren't looking like a plus size Calvin Klein model, Leave them to it. And you could buy some pills to make sure you're beach body ready. The pictures that made the internet, that made it all go viral, made my life. The people that are going actually to a tube station to take a picture in their bikini saying, yes, I am beach body ready, thank you. That was disgusting. That angered me so much that I was just like, is this an actual joke or is this actually serious? As long as you're comfortable in your own body, ignore all the tabloids, ignore them scrutinising celebrities for putting on a little bit of weight. It doesn't matter, it's all irrelevant. Why are they making this front page news in magazines? I don't want it in my life. I don't need it. Don't need it. Stop it. It needs to stop. Now, the reason why I agreed to do this video and this topic in my Dear Joanne for my first video is because I'm a very self-conscious person anyway. And when Joanne told me she wanted to do this about this topic because of that picture and it really angered us both, I mean, I wouldn't say that I was a plus size person like Calvin Klein's ad is intending it to sound and seem. I wouldn't say that I was that. I would say that my body is fine. There are things about my body I'd like to change. I'd like skinnier thighs. I know skinny is not a word that everyone likes, but I'd like thinner thighs. I'd like a little bit less fat on my body when I sit down. But everyone gets that, it's normal. There are things I like about my body and the things that I don't like about my body. And that is absolutely fine. So, dear Joanne, Let's talk body images and how absolutely disgusting it is. So that's it, that's all I had to say and I've done a lot of ranting, that's all I wanted to do, just sort of get a lot of thoughts and feelings and emotions off my chest. Tabloid magazines are ridiculous, I don't want to read them ever again. And yeah, next month, I think it is, we're doing one every month, is my turn to start but be sure to link Click the link around here for Joanne's page and you'll be able to follow the back and forth series that we have created. And thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!